Welcome back to the Fremonti in Season 6 finale. This week we have a very special episode for you all. We're looking back at this season, and we also want to congratulate LSJ for their interscholastic victory last Friday. It was a pretty fun challenge, and we hope to beat you next time. Great to do today. I hope you passed all of your classes, and 11th graders, I hope your mock interviews went well. And for us seniors, we have just 10 more weeks of school left, and we're out. I'm pretty excited about that, and I'm eager to get out of here. Senioritis is definitely kicking in. Minus 30 for promoting senioritis. See, this is more I like it right here, more my style. No senior writers allowed. Anyways, let's just start the show. It has been a long season. To recap, we sent our Polled and Fun Facts team to ask the media team about their favorite memories this season. Welcome to Fremonti number eight. This is our last episode before a hiatus and to commemorate the amazing moments we spent creating the Fremonti for all you. We want to ask the media team what was their favorite thing about this season. What was your favorite thing about this season? My favorite thing about this season was I was able to anchor and it was a new experience. What I liked about this season was when we interviewed Miss Richardson and she told us to appreciate our moms. My favorite thing this season was dressing up as George Washington I'm in my segment and giving information to our peers. My favorite part about this season was being able to be the face of the seniors and represent them and I love how we managed to take all these interviews and videos and I had a lot of fun being the face of the seniors. My favorite thing about this season was meeting new people and being able to interview them. It was exciting to hear from our very own media team and see how they enjoyed the process of making the Fremont team come together. We hope to see you all next time. Bye! In the spirit of recapping, Clubs has done a wonderful job at highlighting some of our cool clubs on campus. Their production process was not always as graceful, but thanks to their editing team, Clubs has been shining since episode one. Let's check out the stories. What is going, what is going, what is going, Fremont Rockstars? Today, we're gonna to be reviewing footage for Fremontians so you can see what happens behind the scenes. Let's go check it out. <clears throat> You guys, you guys are not going to believe who we interviewed here at the art room, guys. Today, we're going to give you information on how you can participate in art, guys. Let's check it out. All right, how is that? What is going, what is going, what is going, everybody? What if I told you that we had a pop rock bang? What? All right, well, this is... <laughs> I thought you were done. Keep going. All right, all right, start. Cut it, 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 cut it. Cut it. No. What is going? What is going? What is going, everyone? So today, guys, we're gonna be interviewing Miss Perez and Mr. Gonzalez for the robotics team. Okay, okay. Testing, testing, one, two, three. <laughs> What is going, what is going, what is going, Fremont Rockstars? We're going to be showing you guys behind the scenes, which has never been seen before on the Fremontian. Let's go check it out. In the edit there are often clips that just don't make the cut. But in this recap episode, the Variety team is able to show you never-before-seen behind-the-scenes clips. Mr. Producer, hit it! I personally think that our Valentine's Day special was our best variety episode yet because 
The editing was really smooth and the video itself flowed really nicely. I also liked how I did my voiceover. Yeah. The President's Day episode was definitely the most chaotic, especially because we got rushed to do the whole entire video. And basically, we just did it all in one day. Yeah. <laughs> and But we finished it, which is good. So. This is the most captivating segment because the cars looked really nice and there was a really good story behind it. Hi Josh! Hi, so I think my take on this would be that it was a very interesting car show. Um, it's not something you see very often here in uh, South LA, so it was definitely an experience and definitely a whole thing going on, you know. Thank you for joining us this season. We we hope to see you next season. <laughs>
I feel pretty confident. I'm very proud of my teammates. And I think we wouldn't have been able to accomplish all of this if our coaches wouldn't be pushing us during practice. So pre-game wise, uh, before every single game, what, what is the team like? What is the mood like? What is the just the essence like? So the whole overall mood of the team, at first we start getting a little nervous, but then we shake it off as we warm up and everything. But as captains, we try to motivate our teammates to keep going. And if we try to uh, motivate them that if they make a mistake to shake it off, you know that we try not to go in with the mentality that we're going to win because we can let it get to our head. So we try to just go in, play, and just try to make as few mistakes as we can. But overall, we all try to keep each other going. How do you feel after winning the deadlift challenge? Uh, it feels pretty great. I got to show like what I'm really capable of during that uh, tournament we had. Uh, so I feel like I'm dead after that. My back it hurts. Well, not hurts, but it's sore. So I feel pretty great about that. What is the most you can lift? Uh, what do you mean, like? Like, just like? Just deadlift? In general, uh, just in general. Uh, so in general, I could lift about 960 pounds. That in squat, I could do 320. Uh, bench prayers, I could do two, 225, and deadlift, I could do 425. Um, what is your reason for lifting weights? Uh, well, right now I just got a new reason, and that's to join um, the World's Strongest Men Tournament. Like that happens um, every year, but we just they just had a recent one, 2022. So I'm, I'm planning to just go full way with the weights, get buffer. That way I could just join and try out my max over there and see if I win or not. That, see, that's hard. All right, it's time for a segment that I've been waiting for for so long. The dream is finally coming true. I could spotlight Mr. Ferguson, the man in the chair, Mr. Producer himself. Daniel Ferguson joined us here at the Fremontian in the fall with his program, the Los Angeles Legacy Project. The Los Angeles Legacy Project is a program that helps students like us here at Fremont use their skills learned in school to produce programs like the program, the Fremontian. Let me tell you, it's been an experience. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> Mr. Ferguson, I could say welcome to the Fremontian, but you've already been here. First, I want you to thank you for our spotlight team for setting up and preparing this interview. And I understand that you have worked in the television industry. Why did you choose to work in that industry? Well, I've been working in, well, I've chose to work in TV uh, because it's fun, <laughs> right? I like producing TV. I like telling stories. And uh, it's, a, it's a creative way to make money. Most definitely. What are some of the pros and cons of your job? You know, it's a lot, it's very difficult working with people. You know, whether you like to admit it. it's working with people is tough. Um, but the pro is also learning from people. So the, what I like most about doing what I do is learning. Definitely. What did you do before you, you became a producer? Uh, before producing, I was a camera operator. I worked on, uh, as a camera operator for reality TV. So I did that for several years. I also was a director, directed music videos for Disney and a couple of record labels. But that's what I was doing before I started producing. Let's take a, a small trip back. When did you first start working in reality TV? Man, I started working in reality TV at about 2000, it's, it's a long time ago, oh. um, but from then on, for about 20 years, uh, I was working I was working in reality TV for about seven years, and shortly after that, started crossing over to producing talk shows and things of that sort. Now, let us know a little bit about um, what do you like about working in reality TV? I like the impromptu. Um, impromptuness of working reality TV. You know, you get to create situations where you see people do things that they may not really do in real life. You know, so folks get to lead these big dynamic lives. So folks jumping out of airplanes, hot air balloons, um, amazing dates, wrenching supercars, going up the coast doing a lot of things that you would not really see or really get to do in real life. This is what reality TV is about. And then you get to see how people react while they do those things. Um, 
what were a couple of the steps that you took to get where you are now? For me, what I, what I did in order to get the experience, I started a production company. So I was able to, when I first started, nobody wanted to hire me because I had no experience. So then I started my production company, got experience, started working on documentaries. Then people started hiring me to work on reality TV. Genuinely, I would like to know, what was one of your best experiences while working in the field of reality TV? Man, uh, that's a good question. But I did a show called Bringing Home Baby for several years. And I think my, what I liked about that show was that I was able to inform myself and learn a lot about Bringing Home Baby. So when my son was born, I was, I was well informed. We love that response, but we, we, we all want to know, what is it like working on the Fremontian here at Fremont? I like working on the Fremontian. Um, like I said earlier, what I like is learning. And believe it or not, I learn a lot working here at the Fremontian, learning, how to, learning from you all as we go ahead and produce these episodes. And by, I'll say, you guys have done really well. How would you say that your experience was working with high school students? Educational. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Working with high school students is very educational, and I really appreciate it. This has been The Fremontian. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell for notifications down below on every time we post a new video. We're taking a small break as we set up our new team. In the meantime, don't forget to find a path or make one. Well, I can't say see you in season seven because I'm out, but I'll definitely be passing the torch to someone else. And look forward to seeing you guys in season seven. Bye, everyone.